So, good evening everyone. It's an uh, expat in the Philippines. So, another day comes to an end. And the clouds there in the distance. And uh, yes, we still have water in our street. The water was actually going down. And today, for some reason, it's gone back up again. So here we have a guy delivering water. So, uh, in the background there, We have the uh, dark clouds, and I can hear thunder in the background. So we might get a little bit of rain. So I was just watching the uh, the news from uh, Great Britain. Um, I don't know if you've been following. All the things that have been going on in the UK this last few days. Three girls died from uh, stab wounds, I think on Monday. And there's been protests every day since then. Uh, and I think for this weekend, a lot of uh, demonstrations going to go on all over the, the country. So it's not going to look good over there. Uh, yeah, I think we can be thankful that we live here in the Philippines, a nice, peaceful country. Because there seems to be a lot going on in uh, in Europe at the moment. Also, not long ago, a policeman was stuck to death in his neck from a immigrant, and uh, that's what all this is about in the UK at the moment. 17 year old person uh, he was actually born in the UK but his parents were from Rwanda so that's what all these demonstrations is about so there was just some lightning over the back there to try and get one um, yes so a lot of stubbings demonstrations uh, the Olympics is on in France there's been a few, well, quite a lot of discussion about that. Um, the the opening of the Olympics apparently uh, it was against uh, Christianity. They've been trying to play it down, the Olympic Committee, saying, no, it's been misunderstood. But apparently they said, yes, okay, it was was about Christianity and uh, the other day a uh, boxer from Algeria um, apparently <laughs> I have to be careful how I say this um, this person was stopped from boxing last year uh, not last year in the yes last year in the in India because uh, that person failed the the test whether it was a female or male so it had too many male hormones apparently this person was born without uh, genitals is or was a boy but that person says uh, she felt like a woman and she grew up like a woman. Anyway, she uh, she's boxing in the Olympics and uh, she was fighting a woman from Italy and she gave up after 46 seconds. Uh, she says she's never felt punches so hard in her life. And she she's a professional boxer. And this uh, person from Algeria is fighting again today. So we'll see see what happens today. 
Um, apparently, there's another another person from I think North Korea. Uh, also the same. It's a uh, transgender person. So was a man before, but they've uh, I don't know had uh, operations and hormonal treatment and everything. Uh, and can, they consider themselves as a woman. Consider themselves as a woman, and uh, that's why they're allowed to box now against women in the Olympics. So here's my uh, very noisy neighbours. Going for the evening walk. Yeah, the water went down and it's gone slightly up again. So, not quite sure why. So, as I mentioned, I suppose we have to be thankful that we live in a nice, peaceful country at the moment. Not much going on in the Philippines apart from the Philippine Sea discussion with China. China uh, says it's theirs, and the Philippines says it's theirs, and there's been a, a bit, but um, I haven't heard anything lately about that. They always take a rest, oh, I just missed that, over the back there was lightning. Um, they always take a rest for a couple of weeks, you don't hear anything, and then all of a sudden you hear something about the, uh, the South China Sea, or the West Philippine Sea. So the clouds are going slightly, the sun's going down. Uh, I'll leave it at that, guys. Not much more to say. Apart from uh, stay safe wherever you are and take care. And uh, We'll see you again tomorrow. So until then, Koi Ian from the Philippines. It's goodbye. See you guys and take care.